What is up everybody, this is Danny Dave here, and welcome back to another video. So I'm bringing you a never used match against Brayden. And uh, I've never battled Brayden before, but he's new to the server, so this should be fun. He's brought an Excavalier, a low in Ninetales, D Diggers B, Arcanine, Needle Queen, and an Absol. It looks like a pretty threatening team right there. Needle Queen, I don't think that's in you. But we'll deal with it. Alright, um, hey, neither is low nine tails. What is going on here? Whatever. Um, I'm gonna do. I, I have Salazzle, Ninjask, uh, Copper Jaw, Zorark, Mudsdale, and Starmie. I'm gonna lead off with Mudsdale and try to get the self rocks up early. And if he leads off with Needle Queen trying to get the self rocks up, I'll go ahead and Earthquake. Definitely gotta keep an eye out for that, uh, Needle Queen. And uh, nine tails though, gonna be a threat. My stars here are gonna be Ninjask, Salazzle, Zorar. See which one of them can take the take. Well, it's gonna lead off Zorar, but everyone leads off Zorar. Off a digger beam, which is perfect for my Mudsdale. I might go for the U turn that's trying to scout out to see if I am a Zora, but I'm really gonna be a Mudsdale. Let's get stuff rocks up, get it out of the way. I guess for the body slam. I'm just gonna activate my uh, stamina boost. That does a lot. I am very defensively invested. I do get the defense boost, which is nice. I can probably go for the body press here. Gosh, that body seems a lot. Might be choice banded, or Digger Beast is powerful. Honestly, I don't have. I don't have body press. I thought I did. I can go for the toxic, predicting the switch. Not all of his Pokemon can get toxic except for a Scavulier and Needle Queen. <laughs> I noticed him right after I said all of his Pokemon can get toxic. I'm just gonna go for it. Use for another body sand. He's gonna give me another defense boost. Oh, still does a decent chunk. We go ahead and earthquake after this. He's determined. Oh yeah, especially I miss. I'm just gonna switch it out. Honestly, okay, should I switch out? Nah. The toxic him. He's giving me defense boost. Yeah, he goes for the earthquake. It does a lot too. Um, he's whittling down my mud steel. I haven't done anything except stealth rocks. Alright, so I get the toxic off. This digger beast is going to be poison. I can now see. I just don't want anything else to like really take a hit from this uh, digger's beat. I know how powerful they are. Just think how much damage it's doing to my mud steel. Now his poison won't be on the field that much longer. He's gonna be forced to switch out, hopefully. So I'm gonna go. I, mean, I don't wanna predict the earthquake, he can just go for the body slam again. None of my other Pokemon can take it as well. I'm gonna go for the earthquake, try to get rid of this Diggers B. He does paralyze me, which is pretty unfortunate, but I do get another stamina boost. Now his body slams aren't doing much at all, which is. And I'm paralyzed. Alright, Mudsdale. I need you to do something here. I'm gonna poison him instead of stealth rocks. Poison is slowly gonna take a toll on him, especially if I can get pull earthquake off. Yeah, another defense boost, which makes me think I can live another body plan. I'm gonna go ahead and earthquake him. That that takes him out. I should have just gone for the earthquake in the first place. Oh, that was a critical hit. <laughs> I was wondering. I was like, what the heck? All right. So, I, I don't think that was... I shouldn't have gone for earthquake anymore. Toxic was the right play. I'm not going to doubt myself. But Digger Beast is down. I have like a plus five attack or defense. But he can easily take me out with any special attack. Yeah, yeah he goes into nine tails. He was going to get up to hail. Oh, he doesn't have heavy duty boots, which is nice. He might have light clay. If he has a war reveal. 
But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and intoxicate in case he tries to use a war reveal. If he just takes me out, that's fine. Mudsteel's paralyzed and weakened. Look how sad he looks. Alright, uh, he's just gonna take me out of the blue. Sounds like a good time to go into my uh, assault vested uh, copper jaw. Yeah. Let's do this. And go for the heavy slam. Let me go for the heat crash in case he tries to switch into scavenger. And it's still super effective. Which is little battery. Oh, jeez. That's got really your epic predict. Okay, he's got the berry. It still should do a lot. Nearly takes him out. He would have been taken out. Oh, he's gonna go down from the hail? Yep. Hail takes him out. That scavalier is gone. Good job, Copper Jaw. Alright, he's gonna send out Absol. I think Absol's gonna learn Superpower. I haven't seen an Absol. Uh, I saw Angelito's Absol, but I haven't seen an Absol use Superpower in like years. I haven't, I haven't really faced him. Uh, if he goes for Superpower, he's gonna have a Golden Snitch, but I still wanna risk the Dark Move. Oh, he's having a pickle here. Let me go to Golden Snitch just in case he does go for Super Power and then I can just go for the U-turn. Hopefully he doesn't try to Source Dance and uh, Sucker Punch me. Okay, yeah, he goes for the Close Combat. I didn't even know they can learn that. There's a lot to my Ninjas, but it was probably the best Pokemon on my team to take that fighting move. Not that much sales on. And it was a critical hit. Oh yeah, well, absolutely no really critical hit. I did a lot. Hale's not gonna help me at all either. I don't think he's gonna switch out. I'm just gonna go to the U turn. Hopefully, he doesn't try to sucker punch me. Okay, he does switch out. I should've gone for the storage things. Oh, Arcanine comes out. Yeah, I don't think I would've been able to one shot this Arcanine anyways, even if I went for a short chance. He does not have heavy video boots, I know. It's not like most of his Pokemon. Dark Knight out of the field. I'm gonna send out Starmie. I just, I'm curious to see who Zorak turned into. Does Zorak only turn into a Pokemon? It's like my first time using Zorak. I don't know if he like only turned into a Pokemon when he uh, a different Pokemon when he's a lead, or if he just sent him out randomly. I don't want to send him out, but he can't really do much. I could scare off the Arcanine though. Yep. I had a feeling I transformed into Starmie. <laughs> Alright, let's see if he gets scared off here. Alright, pull off a nasty pot. Potentially sweep this team. Let's do it. Oh, Bleach switches out. No, he stays in! Oh, I forget. Arcanine's gonna learn Wild Charge. I forgot. But it's not super effective against my con man. Let's hope he doesn't have that extreme speed. Because that'll just take me out when Zorox is racing. Alright, I'm going for the Dark Pulse. Alright, he doesn't have extreme speed. Dark Pulse should be able to take this thing out. Zorox. So tricky. Uh, Absol, attack sucker punch. I am dark type, so hopefully I can survive it. But he, it's Absol. He has a strong attack, and he can get critical hit pretty easily. And um, Zorak's not known for uh, the defense, if you know what I mean. Let me just go for the flamethrower. Hopefully, it takes out this Absol. I didn't. I wasn't gonna go for focus blast. I just don't want to miss. And I figured like Absol aren't really like bulky or anything, so it should take it out. Flamethrower does. And Zorak should be able to take the rest of his team out. And that is perfect. 
Uh, Needle Queen comes out. Ne Needle Queen might be able to take a hit. Let me go for the Dark Pulse here, though. Alright. Let's do this, Zor. Takes out Needle Queen. Does not take, is not able to take that hit. So this should be game. He's gonna send out his last Pokemon, which is Nine Tails. Yep, and I got Flamethrower for that. And I'm carrying the Expert Belt. So this should be GG's, guys. That was a great game against Brayden. I know we're gonna have a couple more after this. So we'll see how it goes. Let me know how you guys thought about Zoroark. Kind of underestimate Zoroark all the time, so it was kind of nice seeing him. Oh, he's fashioning me. The heck? Alright, well. <laughs> They could so work. <laughs> Is he like chore scarfed? A chore scarfed alone with nine tails? Is that even a thing? Alright, going to copper a jaw. It's gonna be a heat crash. What the I will go heavy slam. I commend you for uh the chore scarf alone with nine tails. Or nope, nine tails naturally faster than Zor. Look at it up right now. And that alone nine tails going down. Nine tails does not outspeed. Oh yeah, he does. 109. What am I? Jeez. Disregard everything I said about that choice grab. I thought it was sworn a line a nine tail alone nine tails had like a base speed of like eighty or ninety. But that was the GG's guys.